we back. Now, today's video, we're going back to the NBA quizzes, man. It's been a minute. It's really been a minute with 2K20 dropping. I've basically been 2K'd out, but I'm here and I'm back with another NBA-related quiz. Leave a like on the video and that'll let me know that you want me to reincorporate the NBA quizzes. But since it is our first one in a long time, I thought we should go with one of the most clickbaity titles, clickbaity quizzes I have ever seen. 60% of basketball fans will fail this 2010 NBA quiz. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video, but they're saying more than half of us are going to fail this. And I'm about to be one of the 40%, I guess, according to them, to kill it, to destroy it. Because I've been on this site before. This site is notorious for making claims like this and then dropping some very easy questions. So let's just see what the first question is. Which player won the most regular season MVP awards in the decade? Not a hard question whatsoever. Especially when you show me a picture of the guy that did it. That's, of course, LeBron James. All right, maybe it's one of those quiz that progressively gets harder. That, you know, it's a possibility, right? How many points did Kobe score in his final game that was 60 against the Utah Jazz? One of the greatest performances I've ever seen. Kobe went out like a true gangster. He didn't care about passing the ball, not even a little bit. He didn't care about passing the ball at all. He's like, this is my very last game of my legendary NBA career, and it will be one to be remembered. But can you imagine if he took that many shots and his shot wasn't falling? He should take 50 shots. He only makes seven of them or something. Kobe not that type of dude, though. High volume and actually scored the ball. Which player averaged a triple-double for at least one full season? I don't know. Maybe it's the guy you have pictured here, Russell Westbrook. Uh, which player was traded for Anthony Davis? In this case, that would be Lonzo Ball. Obviously, there was way more people to be involved in that trade. I was just at the game when the Bulls played against the Pelicans. It was a fun game. It was a super fun game, especially for a preseason game. And I will be at pretty much every Bulls game. So keep that in mind. If you're coming to Chicago, you just visiting. Shout out to my guy from Argentina. I met a fan from Argentina that was in town to watch the Bulls play. That's just dope. So, yeah, hit me up if you're going to be in town and you, you're going to a Bulls game. Who won the 2010 NBA championship? Oh, so I could go back and do the math, or I could just look at this picture. Well, I know LeBron didn't win a championship his first time in Cleveland. It took when he got hit a second time. So I'm going to go with the Lakers because Ron Artest is in this picture. Was that Ron Artest or is that Meta? I don't know. Number six. Which team did Damian Lillard eliminate with iconic playoff buzzer beater? Um, the most recent one was the OKC Thunder, but he did have that one against the Rockets that was very reminiscent of Brandon Roy's um, elimination game shot. Which of these players have won three Six Man of the Year awards? Okay, we're gonna. I don't know how many questions in these, but if they had a simple, we breezing. Which player became the all-time leading scorer for the Memphis Grizzlies? Of course, Mike Conley. It sucks that he's not there anymore. Who knows? Maybe the last days of his career, he goes back to Memphis to continue to up that points. Score. Um, which player was traded for Kawhi Leonard? That'd be, of course, DeMar DeRozan. Who won the 2011 championship? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the guy that you... Okay, I'm going to stop making a joke. It's Dirk and them. One of the best finals runs ever, by the way. Like, okay. let's. I talk about this pretty often, but if I hit a three, right? I'm probably doing this. You know, you could do the mellow three to the dome. You could do that. You know, you nobody do this. Dirk always threw up like the... ASL American Sign Language 3. I respect that. I can never put that in my repertoire. One, because I rarely hit threes anymore. And two, I just don't remember to do... To, like, it's just so easy to do the mellow. I'm sorry. It's just so nice, too. Which of these players made the NBA Finals... Made their first NBA Finals appearance in 2010s? Okay. Um, that's going to be Kevin Durant because Dirk did it in, in like, 06-ish, something like that. And LeBron did it a bunch of times. Ray Allen did it some time. So that would be Kevin Durant. Which of these players never made an all-star game appearance in the 2010s? That's Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is like a two-time all-NBA player, but never made an all-star game. Which player won the most regular season MVP awards in the 2010s with three? Isn't that the same exact question from the first question? Did you just give me a duplicate question that you reworded? That's an L, dog. Which player was traded for Kyrie? That was Isaiah Thomas. Do y'all remember when that trade happened? We were like, man, the Cavs are stacked. They got Isaiah Thomas. They got Derrick Rose. The way, wait. And they end up being not good. Uh, who won the 2012 championship? That is LeBron's first ring. Which player scored 37 and a quarter? That is, of course, Klay Thompson. You, you know, you're showing him right here. 
This makes it so much more easy if you give me the answer. Uh, which of these teams did not make the playoffs in the 2010s? So even if you didn't know this question, the picture tells it. I mean, I knew this answer. I knew this answer. The picture literally tells me it's the Kings. Hopefully that changes, though. I love the Kings team. I love this Kings team. So maybe this is the year, but the West is so stacked, so maybe it's not. Which player became an all-time lead scorer? That is a Kemba Walker. Which is player was traded for Paul George? Of course, that is Victor Oladipo. 2013 championship. That's Miami Heat one more time. Which coach won a two, an NBA championship in the 2010s? That is Ty Lue. Doc got his with the Boston Celtics, but that was before the 2010s. David Blatt never got his, and Stan Van Gundy never got one either. Right? No, Stan Van does not have one. Which team did Kevin Durant win his regular season MVP with? Got it. Which team won the most NBA championships in the 2010s? That's, of course, Golden State Warriors. How about this? Oh, you know what? This question is a little bit weird. Um, Chris Paul. Who won the 2014 NBA championship? That is the Spurs, especially since you showed me a, a literal playoff championship game right here, right now. Which player made an all NBA team all 10 years in a row? See, I'm about to start getting to the point where to make it a little bit more difficult, I'm going to try to answer the questions before I see the picture and before I see the opposites. That should make it a little bit more difficult. This is LeBron though. Yeah, this is the first time where the picture didn't correlate with the question. So that's a good thing for them. They're not just giving away answers for free. Which of these players won the rookie of the year in 2010? So I have to see the options because, yeah, this is Damian Lillard. Perfect. Which player became the all-time leading scorer in Toronto Raptors history? That is DeMar DeRozan. A picture of Drake. I dig that. DeMar DeRozan. Which player was traded for Blake Griffin? So Blake Griffin deal was Boban... No, 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 no. Yeah, wait, was it Boban? Boban and Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris, dope. Who won a 2015 championship? Ooh. So, okay, so it went Spurs, Heat, Heat, Dirk? No, it's the Spurs again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God, bro, what? That's an L. That's an L. I wanted to go. I don't know how many questions there are. I wanted to go 100%. The Warriors won 2015. Lost 2016. 2000, won 2017. Won 2018. Lost 2019. I, I, if I would have went backwards with it, I would have got that right. The picture threw me off. The picture was fake news. Right? Which young star made his first? Okay, that's D'Angelo Russell. How many franchises did Dwayne Wade play for in the 2010? So he played for, of course, the Miami Heat, played for the Bulls and the Cavs. So that is three. Which player won the most finals MVP awards in the 2010s with three? That's LeBron. Three championships, three finals MVPs. If LeBron is winning the championship, you could probably bet that he's raising the MVP trophy. Unless he wins running in LA, which there's a good possibility that Anthony Davis may take a finals MVP for him. Maybe. We'll see. Which player was traded for Carmelo Anthony? It depends on which trade we're talking about. If we're talking about the most recent trade when he went to the OKC Thunder, that trade was a Nance Cantor and some other pieces. But I think a Nance Cantor may have been the only guy that mattered. Yeah, Nance Cantor, dope. Who won? Yeah, this is the Cavs year. Um, which top prospect was the first overall pick? These are so easy. Never made the NBA Finals in the 2010s. Never made the NBA Finals in 2010. So let's work backwards. OKC has definitely been there. Dallas has been there. Boston has been there. Last time the Magic made the Finals, um, Dwight Howard was on the team, and that was not 2010s. Which player became the all-time? This is Brook Lopez. Dope. Um, which player was traded for James Harden? That trade consisted of Jeremy Lamb. Um, was in that trade. Did Jeremy Lamb go to Houston? Jeremy Lamb was in that trade. Kevin Martin was in that trade. Kevin Martin. Dope. Who won the 2017 NBA Finals? This is another Warriors year. Which player will most approve? That is Jimmy Butler. How many questions? There's got to be like five questions left. So, so far we got one question wrong and that was just me being stupid. It was literally me being stupid. Who scored 70 points? Which of these players never won a Finals MVP? That's Steph Curry. You know your career is legendary. With the main knock on your career is that, man, you won so many championships, but you ain't win finals MVP. He should have won that first finals MVP. No disrespect to Iggy and all, but Steph Curry. Come on, Steph Curry's putting up crazy numbers in that finals too. But uh, that, that's old news. Can we stop arguing that? I'm the one that brought it up though. 
traded for Kevin Love. That's Wiggs. 2018 NBA championship. That's another Warriors year. But this picture, uh, this picture's crazy. I bet this is on a lot of people's walls in Boston. It's a legendary moment in Boston history. If only they would close out that series. It would just made it so much more tasteful, more impactful. But the rookie Jason Tatum going up on LeBron? Dope. Which of these players won an all-star game MVP? That's okay. Not Giannis. Not Giannis. I don't know all-star game MVPs. Who cares? When we think about player all time, you know, when they think about how great a player was, do people really think about, oh, he won this MVP in the all-star? No, nobody cares. Nobody cares about an all-star game MVP. So let's go Blake Griffin because I know, nope, it was Chris Paul. Cool. How many players won both regular season and finals MVP both in the decade? Wow. Okay. Um, LeBron did it when he was with Miami. Steph Curry cannot do that because, again, no finals MVPs. Kawhi didn't do it. I'm trying to go year by year. Is it two? Yes. All right. Which player became the all-time leading scorer? That is, of course, Anthony Davis. Which of these players was traded for Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce? This is Gerald Wallace. I remember playing old 2Ks and having Gerald Wallace on the Boston Celtics, and he was making like $12 million a year. And at that time, that was a crazy overpay for a guy that wasn't even really in the rotation. Nowadays, $12 million is just thrown around to average role players, but they gave Gerald Wallace $12 million because at that point, he was like a one-time all-star. $12 million, like, man, big payday. Nowadays in the NBA, $12 million ain't really that. For me and you, a $12 million, come on, that's the biggest check we may ever see. But for NBA players, they're like, man, I'm only making $12 million this year. I want that life. It's too late for me. Who won in 2019? That is, of course, Toronto Raptors. I got one question wrong just from being stupid. The average score is a 74, which means that the title was 100% clickbait because they said 60% of the people weren't passing and more than... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of the quiz. There was one more quiz on this website that looked interesting. Actually, it wasn't even really a quiz. It was kind of like a survey kind of thing that I was super interested in. So if you do leave enough likes, we'll you know, do that one next. That one question is really going to have me tossing and turning at night because I should have got a perfect score. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. All right? It's been Kenny. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.